friends in this video i am going to discuss on how to write a test case for the text box so this is a text box if you are seeing here this we call it as a text box so for this text box so what all the different uh, types of test cases you can write to validate this text box field so i am going to explain what all the different test cases you can write for the text box so first thing we'll have to write a test case is whether this text box is editable or not so this is editable or not that is a first test case you can validate whether this is if whether this text field is editable or not so that is a first test case of the text box name of the text box or a text field as well if you are seeing here email and phone number is the name of the this text field or a text box the third is we'll have to check how many characters this supports if you keep entering like this how many characters it support you should support whatever it is which is defined in the database that is only uh, the maximum you should take so there should be a clear indication of how many tests it can take by this text box so there should be a clear requirement should be there any characters it can take so based on that please validate the test case saying that let's say if it is defined 50 characters then you should be able to give more than 50 characters just to see that whether whether text field or text box is giving the right error or not to the user the fourth test case is so can i navigate using tab so can i navigate using tab you able to see it is getting navigated using tab so cursor is coming to the with the tab see if you can see here see it came it went so, with the tab if you are seeing here just to see one more time so all the text fields so this are completely operated uh, using uh, the keyboard so where using keyboard with the tab functionality you should be able to set the focus for the text field or a text box and you will have to ensure that uh, the tab functionality really works for the the text uh, box functionality and also you should also see the text field or a text box which we are talking about whenever we are uh, trying to type here these are all coming in the left side so this is called as a left alignment if something if i am typing this side and if it is coming on the right side then we call it as a right alignment so we will have to validate the alignment of the text which is in the text box or a text field or also whatever the locations you have set the text box or a text field if we set it as a center or a left then appropriately this text field or text box should align that is another test case now let's move on to understand the what are the colors this uh, text box is having so in this uh, we have a white background color there is a white background color in the text box so we'll have to validate so based on the requirement what color it should have if it is having a different color then you should fail the test case otherwise you should clear the test case those things also will have to validate and also there is a one more case if i over the mouse if I, if I keep the mouse over you should give what is this field all about so that is a usability testing perspective look like in the gmail they are not implemented when i select it like this i should get a pop-up saying that this is the field that is not coming here so if you can see here it is not coming here that is another text case you will have to validate and also you can check the properties uh, so there are various properties uh, which are uh, assigned for the text field or text box uh, for the given field if somebody is defined uh, the text box or a text field whatever you enter it requires to be saved in the database then add up the test case as well so the text box or a text field should be should have saving mechanism as and when we 
enter the data and click on save button whatever the value entered in the text field or text box should get saved in the database Next case is if whatever you type if you select and if you say copy you should be able to copy and uh, you should be able to paste also whatever you copied from some other place this also test case you should write for the text box or a test field what you enter something then copy that or you copy from some other place and paste it to the this text field or text box you should be able to take that currently this uh, email id or phone number field is enabled where i can test it let's say in certain situation it is just meant for displaying purpose that field is for read only purpose then you should be deactivated or where you, sh you should not allow you to enter the values i hope you can write on your own whenever you get the next opportunity how to write a test case for text box hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please click on the like button if you are visiting for the first time testing shala youtube channel then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.